Hello everyone. In today's video I'm going to be clearing up a mystery that I had on my balcony recently and it involves basil seeds and white slime. <laughs> Let's get started. Last week we had three days of torrential rain here in Cologne and when it was finally over I went out onto my balcony to look at my plants and make sure that they were all doing all right. So I was looking around and checking and then I saw these sort of weird black dots with this kind of white slime around them lying all over the floor of my balcony. And I was like, what is that? They kind of look like frog spawn, you know when they're all gathered, they're not tadpoles yet, but they're kind of all gathered together. It was sort of like that and I thought, well, what is, what is that? And I looked around at my plants and I realized that these little white slime things were also on my Thai basil plant, which was right next to where all these things were on the floor. And I thought, right, well, this must be the seeds. But what has happened to them? So I did a little bit of research and there's no need to panic. This white slime around the seed is actually a very normal substance. It's found in many plant structures, it's found in seeds, it's found in roots as well. And it's called mucilage. Now when I was studying horticulture, I came across this term mucilage, but I'd never actually seen it before. So it was really interesting to see it firsthand. So why have my basil seeds produced this mucilage? Well, when a seed coat starts to hydrate itself, so it's taking in water, this process is also called imbibition, and it's the first stage of seed germination when the seed is taking in this water. It produces this mucilage, this white slime, goop, gunk, whatever you want to call it. The main use of mucilage is to keep the seed hydrated during this seed germination period and also in the early seedling development. If a seed dries out, if the very fragile seedling also dries out, well then there's a very high chance that the plant isn't going to make it. But when it's surrounded by this mucilage, it's going to stay hydrated or there's at least a much higher chance that it stays hydrated and the success rate of survival and growing into a strong healthy plant is much higher. So it's kind of acting as a water reservoir, a protection to this very vulnerable seed. The reason that we don't normally see mucilage, as I mentioned before, is that when seeds are obviously in the soil, they're germinating under the ground, we don't see this process happening. But if anyone has done the wet paper towel germination of basil seeds, you're going to be familiar with this. Gunky, <laughs> gunky stuff. They look like frog spawn, don't they? I mean, come on, let's put them all together. I think they do. And as you can see, they are incredibly sticky. Which leads me to my next point. There was a really interesting study done on mucilage and its uses. I'm gonna link it down below. And although they believe that the main function of this mucilage is for water retention, the study also found that when mucilage was around seeds, it enabled seeds to cling to this board that they'd set up in the study. And it allowed seeds to um, stay in the same place or cling to this board when it was on a steeper angle than seeds without mucilage. So that would suggest that the mucilage also has some sort of function in maybe anchoring the seed into place when it's in the soil. As I said, I'll link it down below. It's really, really interesting. There's also some really cool photos um, that you can look on, sort of microscopic pictures. But I mean, oh, look at that. It won't come off. It's also worth noting that the mucilage doesn't only exist in basil seeds. And when I say basil, I mean all kinds of basil. So Thai basil, lemon basil, and sweet basil. But you also find it in a variety of other plant families. What certain studies have shown, however, is that species that are adapted to arid or dry conditions tend to have mucilage as part of their seed which makes perfect sense because obviously growing in arid conditions the soil is going to be very dry there's not going to be a lot of rainfall and when seeds are germinating they need moisture and so this mucilage will act as again as i mentioned before reservoir uh, protection around the seed as it's going through this very vulnerable time of its development. So that was the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have had any experience with weird white slime mucilage, uh, comment down below. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.